Hello everyone. Let's start with file new. Since we have metric here, we will go to metric standard part millimeter. Create new part. All the time, my first uh, thing to do is go to home position to identify top, front, and right side view, and to decide which work plane to start with. Go to origin, and you have X Y, which is the right side view. X Z top view. X Y the front view. I will choose the front view. I will draw like rectangle here with the triangle here and I will add the circle in one sketch so start 2d sketch <coughs> so I'll start with this circle okay let me draw this circle here this is the diameter 70 okay 70 I will draw a line from the center down okay and I choose this line to be construction line so it will not it will be not counted in the sketch and then I will draw just any horizontal line okay then what's the maximum here 140 so I will do like this from this end to this line 140 140 over 2 which is 70 and I can see that the maximum length is 140 okay now what's the distance between this horizontal line and the center we will go here we'll see it's 113 so from here to here 113 okay now we have this so the end we have this one 19 so we have something called offset here new feature called offset I will show how to use it you click on offset you click on this line then right click press continue you can go down you can go up and type the value since this is 19 I will type here 19 okay now as you can see the line this one triangle started from this edge so we have to draw a line from here to here and then draw a line from here to here okay and then from this line we draw tangent can you see this tangent and we draw line from here to here to tangent okay now we can trim this one trim this one and actually we can convert this line to construction line because I want this sketch to be for the sketch I don't I should not have two sketches okay we are going to extrude it only 19 so finish extrude 19 then I will go tab sketch here I'll draw another circle this circle the diameter of course 70 ok so finish from center the back center to the front center 51 and we have here 19 so we do extrude 51 minus 19 because we already have 19 here see if you go to measurement tool measure from this area to this area it will be 51 similar to this one okay now we will add this here 70 so this 19 extruded 70 so start to this sketch here draw a rectangle point to point so this point to this point finish and then extrude 
70 also minus 19 so because here it's from end to end so 70 minus 19 we get this one here we can draw this edge 19 9 start 2d sketch here we draw rectangle from here by the way if you draw this rectangle and like this and you are not make sure how to make this rectangle be exactly on the line you can click on this one okay collinear constraint click on this line and click on this line and they will be match okay now the value 9 no yes 9 and from here to the center 19 and the total 19 multiplied by 2 which is 38 finish we will extrude this one 2 70. Now we'll add this cut, start to the sketch here. We'll add this cut, which is 38. We'll give it extrude, cut, hole, see, through all. Now we should add this one 19 from this corner. There are several ways to do it. One of the ways you can come here at this work plane and start 2D sketch and then create line from here to here to here. Okay, and you create line from here to here. You create line from here to here. Let's see what we have. And we create a line from here to here. But I prefer this line to be extended because I will show you why. If I do extrude middle the value 19, I will end up having this space because it's match here but since this is cylinder it will not match so I can either draw like this edit sketch and make line here ok and then I will extend this line here if I can't extend I will go view visual view wireframe and sketch I will draw another line okay and then I will draw another line from here to here then I will trim trim this one I will trim this line also so this is my new profile my new sketch see now when you go to view visual style you will find no lines it match ok I will add holes start to the sketch here I will add one hole here and let's check what's the diameter for this hole this is the diameter 19 so 19 what's the distance between here center to center 82 so I'll draw another circle like this one and I have to make it in the same line in order to do this I'll go to collinear 
coincidence and put this on this line okay it's fine now I will go dimension from here to here I want it to be 82 and of course I want line from the center to make this value 41 okay this line has to transfer to constru construction okay so finish extrude this one this one cut all this our part fillet and round R3 so we can create fillet the value 3 on this edge 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 The first thing the software will ask me to save. See, base, I have to save the file. So, counter, counter, bearing, bracket, I will copy this name. section view so I will add scale 2 let's say ok and then let's add section view so this is the section view I don't like the full section view so let's add front view top view this is the top view okay so we have top view we have front view and let's add isometric view from here okay we can do one thing we can do a half section view for this one see so for this one we can do like this from here to here All right click continue I don't want to see all these so let's do like this let's do section view from this center to this center right click continue and if I put it here this will be fine because I'm looking to that side so this side this one will not appear here so that's why I get it small okay annotation center center point here 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 right click edit view solid or shaded edit layers dimension display 5 3 blue text 
it and blue now let's add the dimension so from here to this one 113 38 9 19 diameter we need dimension from this to this which is 19 center to center see since we have this one here outside and this one here we have to scale down the values okay and from here to the center 45 this has to be done we have to go back and do this one and we have to go like this so let's start with editing the view first edit the view and make it one and a half okay now let's let get this down a little bit this up. okay and then now let's go and edit the hole this is the hole right click edit sketch dimension from here to here 45 finish we fix this one 45 now the 17 this is the whole depth we can move it to the other side 51 we have this dimension from here to here 51 center this one 30 51 this one 19 this one 19 or the radius r r3 if i missed any dimension please write it in the comment let me know 70 140 so that's it I hope you enjoy. Thank you.